Asialink Business has continued to build on its mission of developing an, an Asia-capable Australian workforce. And this is really what Asialink Business started to do some three or four years ago. But the impact that we've had through small and medium enterprises is something about which we're particularly proud. These are the businesses which are at the forefront of developing Australia's interests and Australia's opportunities in the region. The other thing that we're particularly proud of is the ability to have begun the process of leveraging the great work done by government in the development of the free trade agreements. These free trade agreements uh, have created platforms for Australian businesses to develop further interests and opportunities in the region and AsiaLink Business has been able to come in behind some of those businesses and support their development uh, within the region. AsiaLink Business was established as a national organisation. So being national is a very important part of our mandate for all of our partners, Commonwealth Government and our other partners. But not only national, the other thing that's really important for us is to find ways to reach all Australians. So included in being national is not just Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, Brisbane, Sydney and the like. Uh, it's the work with businesses, again small and medium uh, enterprises in the regional areas of Victoria which is really important in being a national organisation. We're very proud of the, of the work we've done in Perth recently and of course uh, the development of the leadership program which is now offered in both Sydney, Melbourne and uh, Brisbane has been a further step to the, uh, the nationalisation of that program. Twenty seventeen has much in store. Uh, at the macro level, there's been a huge amount of change around the world. As we know, there will be a new president elected in the United States, and we know that the changes in Europe are going to be substantial. And whilst all of these are far away from Australia in one sense, they're also close to us because of the likely impact that these will have in the Asian region. This should produce great opportunity for Asia Link business in the way in which Australia has further opportunities to engage in the region, particularly as the free trade agreements that were reached in the previous year or so begin to gain traction. Again, our work will be to continue the development of Asia-capable skills with Australian businesses that are seeking to build their position in the Asian region across all of the Asian nations. So uh, I'm expecting 2017 again to be a, another bellwether year as this organisation charts a course to build an Asia-capable Asia Australian workforce.